How to set up the remainder of your ROI tracking with the selection My system can pick up the value of optional parameter from landing URL. Once your basic settings have been configured, you can go on to completing your ROI tracking setup. First, let's look at the optional parameter name. This parameter will be appended to your landing URL. It can be any variable name of your choosing. If you have a specific name that needs to be placed, such as one assigned by an affiliate, you should enter it here. Otherwise, you can leave it to the default. Once your optional parameter is set, and you have selected the option that starts with My system can pick up the value of optional parameter from landing URL, you can click Generate Code. After clicking Generate Code, three fragments of one piece of code should generate below as well as a form for your campaign and landing URL. These three fragments are meant to be joined together, edited, and inserted into the source code of your conversion page. Since you have selected the option, my system can pick up the value of optional parameter from landing URL, the setup in this case will be different than if you let Clixer handle everything for you. Here, I have a simple landing page and conversion page. I also have a text editor to edit the source code for each page. Since I will handle variable passing, I will need to store the value on the landing page and save it to be passed on the conversion page. Before we get to the code you generated, let's look at an example of passing the CLUID value. For this example, I will use a PHP session variable. This is the code for my landing page. As you can see, I retrieve the CLUID value from the get variable. Note that I am retrieving for the value stored in Clixer opt, which is the default variable parameter name from Clixer. After saving the variable, I will store it in a session variable called Clixer so I can retrieve it later. Remember, that if you choose to use a different variable name for your optional parameter, you would need to change that value so you retrieve the correct variable on your landing page. Back to our generated code, I will copy each part and paste it into the text editor on the source code for the conversion page. For the portion, in square brackets, the CLUID value here, I need to replace that value with the value I saved in my optional parameter that was retrieved on the landing page and saved in my session variable. I will replace the section with the value I passed from the landing page. You will see here that I am doing some additional editing. It is because, as I mentioned, how you pass your variable depends on your system. As this is done with a PHP session variable, I need to make it work with PHP. Let me stress again that this is a specific example that may not apply to your case. As per how you save the value on your side, that depends entirely on your system. You may be saving it in a session variable like this, or you could be using something else like a cookie. 
but whatever you choose is up to you. If you are working with an affiliate, you need to clarify with them that they can save the value and retrieve it in the conversion page. Also, there is a chance you may not have access to your conversion page and it is accessed by your affiliate. If that is the case, you need to give them this pixel code and explain to them how they would need to edit it and then add it to your conversion page so you can do your ROI tracking. When you have finished inserting your code and saving it, return to your admin area. Your last step is to make sure a valid landing URL is inserted. Using the optional parameter that you had set earlier, you need to append it to your current landing URL. This is my landing URL right now, and as you can see, there is a red X indicating that it is not properly formed. As the instructions above show, you need to append it with your optional parameter and have it equal in square brackets CLUID. I will add it over here. After editing it, click update. If your URL is formed correctly, you should see the red X become a green check mark. If you see the green check mark, you have successfully finished setting up your ROI tracking where your system handles all the variable passing. You have the option to test conversion by returning to this ROI tracking page and clicking the link test that should appear next to update. After you visit your page and complete a conversion, you should see it appear in your admin area reports soon after. This completes this video tutorial and your setup for ROI tracking. Choosing this option over you handle everything for me is usually harder to implement. If you are able to edit both your landing page and conversion page, you may want to consider the option where you let Clickster handle all the variable passing. Otherwise, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact your account manager. Thank you for watching this video.